Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're doing well. And we're going to pick up where we left off from the last Tailwind episode. So rather than type this out like the previous uh, thing I did there, I'm just going to paste this in and you can kind of get an idea of to what's going on. Okay, so I just made this div tag. I made it flex. So if you're not familiar with flex, I will provide some resources that you can check out. And I want it to, to be relative. So relative to the container that it's already in. And I'm using a flex call on this one. And this MY, I want it set to zero. So I've added the appropriate padding and the MX auto just like, I want to center this thing. I want it to be in the middle of this container. So I used that and I want the background to be black. And then I went ahead here and I just set some, uh, you know, things that I wanted for flex at different breakpoints. So the medium breakpoint, and this is pretty unique here. I used the max width value and I gave it a specific rem value that I found that worked well, relatively well for this. So if you're not familiar with this, think of it as Tailwind's way of allowing you to add like arbitrary values or any kind of one-off uh, value that you want to add. So you basically use the same kind of, um, you know, syntax that they have for the class and then you surround it by brackets and you put whatever value here. This could be pixels, but in this case, I want it to be rems. Okay, so next up, I'm just gonna do just a little bit of clean up here. I'm gonna make this easier to kind of read. I'm just gonna put this down here. There we go. Okay, now I'll add in the next set of classes here. Uh, here they are. So I want at this breakpoint in, in this div, this picture, I want it to have a relative value here. I want it to be um, minus like the margarine top of a value of nine. So Tailwind has values ranging from one to like say 90. And these values are represented by like how many rems or pixels. And this one, I found that pulling this image up to margin top minus nine, sat it in a really great place. It's just put it in a good spot. And then right here at this medium breakpoint, I also wanted the margin right on that image to be relatively pushed that way as well. So these medium breakpoints are nice for when I want to, you know, do something when the responsiveness of this image changes. And then using flex grow, I would like that to fill all the available space that's available. So next up, I'm going to focus on this image. Okay, I'm going to add this class. And then within this class, I'm going to add these classes. Okay, and I'm just going to give it an alternative name. I'm going to call this Let's say, I don't know, we'll call this guardian. We'll keep the, we'll keep the theme the same. Okay. So now that we have these classes in here, the same pattern applies to the MY as far as how I want this image to be the, I want it to be at the block level. I want it to take the full width of the container that it's in and I want the height to be auto. So to have it adjust to its own height within side of that div container. And for these breakpoints, I would like it to be positioned in a specific spot. So I made it absolute and I made sure the top was zero and I wanted to the right to be zero. So it's not off too far to the right, kind of in the center. I could have taken another approach on this. And then I wanted to scale that image a little bit bigger. So I used the tailwind scale and it comes in, you know, a range from zero to 150. And I just made it uh, 125 here. And then I also wanted the sword to kind of like push off to the side a little bit. So the giant ax, I apologize, uh, that's on this character. I wanted it to be kind of overhanging or overlapping the actual uh, container. So at the medium breakpoint or larger, I decided to say, okay, let's make this margin left 52. And we can just save this and just have a quick peek in the browser to see where we're at right now. Okay, so let's just refresh. And notice that we don't have anything. The border is black, which is the container, which is your card. And then we have this image. So let's pull in the image. So since I'm using the framework approach, I'm using Laravel, we can use this source attribute and I want to find this source, which is this image where I've placed that and it's in my public directory. I'm going to use the Laravel method and it's going to be asset. And I just placed this inside the images directory and it's called guardian. So if we take quickly take a look at this, this is just the image. Um, the dimensions um, natively are set to here 952 by 1154. And uh, it's a fairly small size, um, you know, image as far as the, you know, the weight in kilobytes. But this is what I wanted. This is the image. You can have any other image that you want. This would be the same as actually typing in the relative URL. So if you had it saved in the images using another technique, you would, you know, be like dot, dot, forward slash images, guardian, wherever it is, and then you'd pull this in. So we'll save that as well. And we'll also have another quick peek 
at the browser to see what's actually happening. So we placed this image in here. It's now here, but it's nowhere in the container because we still have to add a few more pieces and a few more components to this to get it to fit in there nicely. Okay, so let's just jump back to our, our code here. I'm just gonna format this a little bit different here. I'm gonna drop the images down. I'm going to do this. And then we're gonna work on the second image. So don't forget to like, subscribe, let me know your thoughts below. Hit the notification bell. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Until next time.